What Leffler and, and Purdue are promising everyone is what Republicans always do. If you elect Warnock and, and Ossoff as your senators and, and then the Democrats control, we're going to become a socialist country. And I would contend that we're already a socialist country, but we're socialist towards the rich. raised in South Georgia, and this election is a perfect example of that, one election away from chaos. We're one election away from seeing the, the, the experiment known as American democracy destroyed. The question always gets asked, how's a, a redneck boy raised in South Georgia? Uh, become involved with a crazy left-wing liberal group like Patriotic Union. The majority of my friends are conservative Republicans. Uh, I, and they asked me that same question, how did you get like this? And, and my response to them is, how did you get the way you are? How is it that you cannot see a innate sense or feel an innate sense of responsibility for everybody? I, I, just, I just don't understand that. What Leffler and, and Purdue are promising everyone is what Republicans always do, and that is they promise them the emotional salve that they need for their emotional wounds. Uh, you know, anything to do with uh, with gun control. Oh no, the Democrats are going to take all your guns away. If you elect Warnock and, and Ossoff as your senators, and and then the Democrats control, we're going to become a socialist country. And I would contend that we're already a socialist country, but we're socialist towards the rich. And people don't understand that, how, how the rich are pampered to and, and kowtowed to in this country. From a, from a legislative perspective, from a tax code perspective, we are a socialist country. We're just socialists for the rich. What Leffler and Purdue did uh, in lining their own pockets and their backroom awareness of what was going on as, as uh, COVID began to develop in the country back in February, they're in a position to, to learn things that the rest of us don't. I'd like to think that they were the only ones. I certainly do suspect that they're not the only ones. But in my opinion, Republicans concern themselves with issues related to just themselves and just their families and just their immediate friend circle. Democrats spread a wider net than that. Democrats tend to worry about everybody, not just their family, not just themselves, but everybody, and people they don't even know. We all know, if we want to be honest with ourselves, that the economy is not sound. The economy has not been sound since March, but the stock market has killed it. I mean, I've made an insane amount of money since March just due to my position in the stock market. The stock market's kicking butt. 614 billionaires in the United States' wealth has grown a trillion dollars since March. We wealthy people have made all the money. And the stock market is not representative of the economy. The stock market is representative of a, of a place where we wealthy people make our money. We desperately have got to raise taxes in America. We cannot go on the way that we're going. And even the Republicans who spend like drunken sailors don't want to raise taxes. They want to keep spending. If we don't do that soon, your children will not know the same America that we know today.